Hey there, readers and writers. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. A little tired. So yesterday you found the main idea and supporting details of the article. And today we'll be looking at some cause and effect. Remember our two guiding questions? Why are the world's freshwater sources threatened? And how do people persuade others to take action to contribute to a better world? Think about that second question and how it relates to the article we've been reading. Let's make sure you have everything you need. Make sure you have a copy of our article, Viral Videos of Cute Animals Have Negative Effects. Just a reminder, it's on page 116 of your ELA packet. And you'll also need a copy of Lesson 41 and the Lesson 41 Note Catcher. Those are on pages 122 and 123 of your packet. And make sure you have that pencil ready too. Go ahead and pause here while you get all your stuff together and I'll be waiting. All right, glad you have all your stuff. Let's go over our learning target. It's I can identify cause and effect in an informational text. This learning target is gonna help you understand the connection between the different parts of the article. To start off, I'd like you to read our article, Viral Videos of Cute Animals Can Have Negative Effects with a Family Member, Caregiver, or Friend. Or if you want, you can go back to the Lesson 39 video and you can listen to me reading it out loud. Go ahead and pause here while you complete your reading. All right, nice job reading. Well, you remember a cause is the reason for something to happen. And an effect is what happens. So in the text from last week, a cause was volunteers taking stray dogs on walks. And the effect was that dogs start to learn how to be pets. I want you to think about the effects of the viral lemur video that was on Facebook and the cause of ring-tailed lemurs being endangered. All right, so what happened because that lemur video was posted on Facebook? And then what is causing the ring-tailed lemurs to be endangered? Go ahead and pause here while you think. Okay, welcome back. Now it's time to talk. So find a family member, caregiver, or friend, and I'd like you to discuss these questions. What were the effects of the viral lemur video on Facebook? Again, that means what happened because of the video? And what are the causes of ring-tailed lemurs being endangered? Like, why are they endangered? Go ahead and pause here while you have your discussion. All right, you've read, you've thought, you've talked, now it's time to write. If you get out your lesson 41 note catcher, this first column right here says it's the cause. It's the reason that something happened or is happening. And the second column is effect. That's what happened or what's happening. Here the cause is given to you. The lemur video on Facebook goes viral. Right here, I want you to fill out two effects of that. And then down here, the effect has been given to you. Ring-tailed lemurs are endangered. I'd like you to fill out two causes that led to that effect. All right, go ahead and pause here while you do your writing activity. All right, nice job. It's time for us to wrap up the lesson. Go ahead and make sure you share your writing with someone and share those causes and effects. Also, please remember to spend 20 minutes reading with a family member, caregiver, or friend. Let's think back to our learning target. I can identify cause and effect in an informational text. Go ahead and rate yourself from zero to five. Zero means you're pretty confused, and five means you got this and can teach it to everyone else. If you're somewhere in the middle, you could do like a two or a three. All right. Before we're done for the day, I want you to work on your fluency practice. Go ahead and practice reading the text with fluency and expression at least two times. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining me again. And I'm looking forward to be, being back with you tomorrow. You'll get to show off a little bit and show what you learned by taking a short quiz. I'll see you then, okay? Bye-bye.